In this video, I'll introduce you to a faster Windows only at the time of recording this video audio transcription and translation tool that is powered by OpenAI's Whisper and it supports GPU. So if you have a graphic processing unit, this is for you. Uh, and I'll leave the link to the GitHub repository uh, for this particular application. I believe it's called Whisper Desktop. Uh, I don't think there's any other name and uh, it's a high performance GP, GPU inference of OpenAI's Whisper Automatic Speech Recognition ASR model. And if you scroll down, you'll see that this project is a Windows port of the Whisper.cpp implementation, uh, which, turn, which in turn is a C++ port of OpenAI's Whisper Automatic Speech Recognition model. So the quick start guide, you can download Whisper Desktop.zip from the releases section of this repository unpack the zip and run uh, windows desktop.exe on the first screen it will ask you to download a model so the model you can either get it from hugging face uh, by some fellow who has uh, stripped it a little bit uh, to become a little bit better or get the open ai's python models so i'll show you how to download it i've already downloaded it but i'll take you to the releases section Actually, the release I want is version 1.61 of last week. So I'll click on that. And it comes here. You see that there are minor changes to the desktop app. The DLL is still 1.60. That's okay. Uh, better performance of C++ samples on laptops with two graphics card. Uh, added uh, .m4a extension. File extension to the browse dialog. Uh, text timestamps. Output option is now available. So this is a very simple, small application. Uh, so I'll click on that. It's a 403 KB. It's done. Now, uh, let's just go to the folder. It's in the downloads. Uh, and I can just say, let's say, a new folder. Whisper. Desktop. Uh, I've created this folder so that I can extract the contents of this file there. So here we go. I'll just open this and then bring up uh, my zip file here. Just copy these files, drag and drop them right inside there. So I have the zip file here and I have the extracted files here. So we need to open this particular Whisper desktop app. Just double click on it. And once you do that, uh, you're going to get a quick notification. Uh, please provide a Whisper model in GGML binary format. Now it's recognizing I already had this uh because i did this to test but if you want to download the models you can click on hugging face click on that and it takes you to this particular hugging face uh option here uh, and what you need you need to click on files and versions and then uh from the recommendation i'll just go back to the code uh the creator uh recommends uh that you try i recommend ggml media.bin uh, the medium version 1.42 GB in size because that's what they've tested uh, but it's pretty fast now uh, you can download uh, let's say we want the medium uh, dot bin uh, for all languages this one click on that download it I've already downloaded the files so uh, there were somewhere here uh, there should be somewhere here this file and this file so what I'm going to do now is uh, with the app open it's open right here uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do this I'll go and navigate to where uh, this particular file is so I'll just click on these three dots and then uh, go to the downloads and then select uh, the file that I want let's say I want the medium one click on that click on open so the model path is going to change model implementation I want GPU uh, you also have the hybrid or reference on GPU. I'll not change anything else here, but the advanced tab has uh, different computer shaders here. Uh, ETC. I'll not change anything there. Once I do that, I'll need to click on OK. And that loads the model and then takes you uh, to the next option where you need to transcribe your audio. Uh, uh, the model shows you which model you're using. Uh, the GGML medium.bin and then you can choose uh, the option to transcribe audio and you can also select translate. Uh, but for this video, we're just doing a transcription. Now, uh, let's do what? Let's come here and say we go with this particular 
file so we go with how to quickly summarize youtube transcripts using youtube summary uh, with chat gpt click on open and that's a video and choose the output format none text file text with timestamps sub brief subtitles web vtt so uh, let's assume we want uh, like the output of this to be let's say our downloads click save uh, but if you'd like it to be the same as the source uh, you can just uh, select this really well done here uh, so once you're satisfied click on transcribe this is really really fast super fast uh, the video or the audio from that video is about five minutes let's see how long it takes to automatically transcribe that particular uh, audio from that video into web vtt subtitles so here we go i believe it's almost done now and we'll see the output and how long it's taken to transcribe that particular file it should be probably like 40 seconds if i'm not mistaken uh for uh, a five minute file uh using the ggml medium uh language model so there we go let's see yeah it's about 42 seconds 0 0.88 uh 844 so uh it's doing a really good job uh let's see what the file looks like from the downloads here it is just double click on it it's a web vtt and you'll notice that uh and it's probably the only downside i have with this particular application probably too uh it's uh, like setting the subtitles at intervals of five minutes uh five seconds sorry uh five 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 looks like five seconds uh, intervals uh which does it feel right i wish there was a way to kind of limit that uh, from this particular option and say you want x number of characters how many lines per subtitle block uh that would be really really uh, awesome uh, also it would be awesome to have uh multiple file input i'm not sure if it supports that but let's try and select a couple of files no it doesn't it doesn't support uh multiple audio or video transcription uh which that was also available because uh if you have a gpu you can take advantage of this because it's super super fast uh, but simply put that's just a quick introduction to this particular uh whisper desktop uh uh application uh, for windows uh, and it's really awesome and just try it out uh, see what you can do uh, you can also use it to live transcribe uh, and you can do this by going to audio capture etc and all that kind of stuff but simply put that's a faster way to automatically transcribe audio and video files using whisper on windows uh, for one application that supports gpu i hope this video is of value to you thanks for watching